link. <clears throat> I'm waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are fighting to a mission of great importance. Link. When your love for him carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. <laughs> Link is so cute when he's sad. But Link, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? Can't Link actually speak? Okay, well basically dude, there was this big black tornado and Zelda kind of maybe uh, fell down to the surface. Black tornado you say? Hmm, that was an ordinary storm. <laughs> you must not push yourself, you're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? Well, you see, she did talk about the surface, which, you know, she never does it. She had voices too. I've been having. Oh, he's about to say it anyway. I see, she, she was talking about the surface then? And you've been having dreams about a great mission? How interesting. I'm sorry, I was losing thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her loved ring, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, daybreak has yet to arrive. It'd be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. We also very dangerous. <clears throat> Rest now, Link. Silver's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. We magically have our sword on us. Hey guys, Saffron here. Ocarina of... What? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> That's just the funniest thing ever. <laughs> The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword! Happy dance, happy dance! Like saying a lot. Unnecessary? No, it's not exactly unnecessary. I already have that many rupees! What the fuck? Wow. No, I did not learn that. Did she just slide? I love this song! This song is so great. No, sorry, I should stop singing. Some people get upset about that. Oh, 
Someone gone upstairs, sprinted, got got this, and gone over the side. I just I didn't actually mean to do it. <laughs> Still looks like you're just standing there. And also, a little thing's like, ah, there's something scary here. Pretty. All the stars are so pretty and cloudy. Not falling for it. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't normally burp this much. I just had I just had a fizzy drink. So anyway. <laughs> Now what to do when a cat does something wrong? I always hiss at my cats when they've done something wrong. It actually does work. Cause you know, hiss is you know if you've you know like cats hiss at you uh for warnings and when they're not happy and stuff like that and fights and you know. Yeah, if you hiss at them. I'm pretty sure I've read somewhere that their um their mothers their mum would do it. So, um, right, if they've done something wrong, their mom would hiss at them. Yeah! And it actually does work. I actually uh, hiss at my cats and they, they they do feel a bit threatened by it and just stop what they're doing. So, you know, it works. And that remlet thing is just a cat. And, you know, I have the hero of time cat, so I've got, I've got to teach you how to be nice, don't I? What's so funny is these people on this are uh, out, Facebook chats, Animal Crossing Facebook chat, and I was like, I got the hero clothes, I'm like, give them to me, I do have the cat named Link, you know, so I deserve, I should have them, my cat's name is Link, yeah, I'm a huge, 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 Ooh, magic door. Never seen that in Zelda before. Doors randomly disappearing. Well, actually, they normally go up and just randomly open on their own. <laughs> Sometimes they do. Place is pretty scary at night, isn't it? Not that scary, though. That's how Link is going to walk from now on. Yep, Link's gonna gonna walk like this. It's not even walking. <laughs> Bet he didn't know about this place. <laughs> it was so fun. When my mum first saw her, she was like, throws like that sword, and she was like. I feel like I'm really happy with that. I was like, what? She's like, I'm speaking sword. I was like, cuckoo. <laughs> the one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play, you will play a role in a great destiny. I just, I, I just imagine Fi's voice being motionless, like motionless, and all you know. Cause she's like some robot thing. I calculate a hundred percent chance, you know. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal des designation. Fi is the name I was given. Now, before anyone says anything, I pronounce it Fi, and some other people pronounce it Fi, like Deku and Deku. Don't scream at me, please. please 
I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your bur your burden to carry. Come, Link. You must you m you you must take up the sword, as the one chosen by my creator. It is your destiny. <clears throat> the strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, and certainly just random the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. <laughs> to minimum, to mim to minimize your uncertainty. Allow me to share some information. My predictions include that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. <coughs> and this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be a part of the same great mission. Therefore, you, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly re recommend you take up the sword before you set out to search for her. Does this information in infigurate you? Are you ready to accept the sword? <clears throat> it seems that further persu persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. I love this part, so I have to stand up and get in the link pose. I'm sorry, I also have to hold my thing. I'm just going to put the nunchuck on. Oh, I have to go over to it first. Okay. Salmon nunchuck. There you go. Right. I'm sorry I have to do this. Um, I'm actually in the position he's in. Right. Press the A. It makes it more, you know, like realistic, if you get what I'm saying. Oh, I've just done an epic. Huh? <laughs> 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 So it makes it more realistic for me if I do that. I actually did do an epic. <laughs> I've so got to do a face cam one day. Recognition complete. Master. Link. My master. He doesn't do much as master, does he? Link! <clears throat> I've had my suspicions, but until now, I wasn't sure. Yet, here we are in the chamber of the sword. The very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation along with a handful of words. One sec guys. <coughs> I'm back, by the way. When the Lord of the goddess is crazy mood right now. Maybe I shouldn't have so much fuzzy drinks and stuff that makes me, I don't know, I'm joking, but I, but, uh, I always get really hyper about this time of night, I don't know why. I find it hard to sleep just because I get so hyper it's not just like one o'clock in the morning or like two o'clock in the morning I start getting sleepy. Weird. I could be really sleepy around like 9pm, gets like 10pm, oh, I'm wide awake. <laughs> I don't know why, and then it's, I normally go sleep at like 1 or something. Because I don't, I just, at this time of night I always get hyper for some reason. 
thought it's best for me to record here just because it entertains some people, my craziness. It started days ago, blah blah blah. I can't be bothered to read this big like wall of text. Not PC, sir. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, excuse me. Oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the of the passage have been lost over the generations. <coughs> The youth who draws for the guardian sword. What? The guidance of the guardian? Oh, I don't know. The guide. I'm a bit like PBG when it comes to reading. <laughs> the guardian sword shall be known as the goddess is chosen here, blah blah. And it, it's he who possesses blah blah blah. An unbreakable spirit. I like how they said that. Yes, unbreakable and then. Spirit shatters by those guardians. I hate that, but literally in the end, the Nero does it. One, I was literally running around for five minutes while I had no things left. Like they're all chasing me. I was running around for five minutes, and they weren't literally chasing me for five minutes. Literally, I'm just like, I don't know how I lasted that long, and I'm really crap at games as well. <laughs> I can't be buffed to read all this. Normally I do read, guys, but. This is no easy task. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is, for, is a forsaken place, and to reach it, must, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. That's why I actually have arms. This is a tablet, blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. I'm just reminded of this program that I don't really see much, so I'm not sure if she still watched it. It's called um Humph. And when like the kids are talking, you see the adults in the background, and in the background you can hear blah 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 and it's just like seriously just have nothing. We can see by their lips moving, they're talking. You don't have to go blah 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 blah. Are you are you stating that adults talk continuously? I don't know. Like blah 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 and and said like random crap. I don't know. But I just always found that weird. It's like I think even a kid can understand their talking lips moving. You don't have to go blah 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 blah. I think it's just really annoying, especially as like it kind of overtakes what the the children are saying a bit. And I don't know. That's just what it reminds me of. And she, her lips don't move, which is creepy. <laughs> I like how the um, thing that the sword goes in, I forgot what it's called. It just randomly changes for the sword that Link has. <laughs> huh? Huh? Was my town tuning Kakariko and uh, I changed the cells by when I did um <laughs> and I did like change it when um I want to try something. Oh uh Oh someone replied to a comment. Oh, the no, I want I want uh 
Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, no, I didn't recognize what I was saying. I just can't remember what I was saying. What was I saying? I can't remember. Oh, I feel so safe. I was look back in recording and remember it. Let me see. Oh, what was I saying? That's bothering me now. Was that? Was it? No, I wasn't still talking about home before though. I can't remember what I was talking about. Hmm. <laughs> Master linkage is done. Yeah, 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 she'll be fine. Uh, I can see why some people say she's more annoying, anno annoying, annoying. I've heard of course a cross between annoying and nervy, <laughs> annoying, <laughs> annoying, because <laughs> it's the fee in it. Annoying the nervy, annoying, more annoying than nervy, <laughs> annoying. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, I can understand why some people say she's more annoying than Navi, but I actually kind of like her. At least she she doesn't point out random things like, right, you know in like every game or anything where there's arrows, right? I mean, it's kind of obvious that it's pointing towards something, and it's kind of obvious you need to do something. So, Navi, you really don't need to point out that there's arrows on the floor. It's really clear that there's arrows on the floor. It's like, think, there are arrows Ooh. painted. I was like, yeah, I got the Navi. She does say some things that are pretty obvious sometimes, where Fi doesn't. Fi helps me quite a bit. I mean, I know she normally says a big wall of text when she says it. it's not like Navi, but it actually helps. Oh, Link has beautiful eyes, sorry. This is my favourite Link. He's like the cutest Link. I know. Yeah, I have a teeny little crush on him. Um, well, I don't want that one. I almost actually pressed that one, but... Um, I love this part. I don't know. Link is the cutest when he's in his hero's clothes and his green tunic. If anyone calls it a dress or a top, it's a tunic. It's a tunic. Sorry, I, I sound like that guy. In, um, I sound like that guy in, um, in Night at the Museum Two. Was it Night of the Museum? In Night at the Museum Two, where he's like, when they're like, why are you wearing a dress? It's not a dress. It's a tunic. Do we have to wear one of those dresses? It's not a dress. It's a tunic. I don't get how he's so calm because he seems like he has a bit of like anger problems. Like he gets all ah, ah, sometimes, and I'm like that. I I have anger problems and I go ah, ah, sometimes, but he's all calm about it. Or like it's not a dress, it's a tunic. And I'm like hey, no, 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 no. oh my throat hurts, <clears throat> and I'm like that. I'm like screaming at whoever says that. <laughs> and he's just so calm. I don't get how he can be so calm. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> just don't say Link wears a dress. He's an elf, or he sailed around me because I honestly turn into some demon and erupt like a volcano. Honestly. <laughs> Take care on journey. Blah blah blah. Like, like she's just, he's just standing there. He's like, he's determined face. People wonder why I always draw um Link even with a serious face or an angry face. Well, it's because when does when does Link ever actually smile? I mean, I know his spirit tracks. He smiled quite a bit, and there's some really happy moments in it. But if you think about it, every time Link actually smiles, something bad normally happens. For example, that cutscene where Zelda 
fought in the game, you know, where sailed where there's a black tornado and fo sailed falls to the surface. I think I'm pretty sure Link was smile smiling in that cutscene. Um Wind Waker, he smiles at his sister, his sister was taken away. You know, every time Link smiles, something bad happens. So and people wonder why I always draw Link with either a serious looking face or an angry face. And people wonder that. Well, if he's smiling, something bad is obviously gonna happen. Yeah, come on, big wall of text. <coughs> and that, guys, is the end of this episode. What was it? It's like episode four now. It was like episode seven or something when I, or maybe in the eight or nine when I got to this part last time. To be honest, I, I, I think I was actually eight because I was doing. 15 minutes and now I'm doing half an hour now yeah so anyway guys I so was like see so you're trying to backflip but you can't do that is this still f it's not this game it's not faster to go backwards like this is it look it looks more epic when it does that look oh maybe not oh I was thinking of that when it goes like like that no, I'm not sure Wait, is it? There we go. Attack pose ready. Mm. Oopsies. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Hey, oh, anyway, guys, I'm sorry after this. Oh, oh, so you see what I mean by the 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 um. Look, look, look. I wonder if I can do it in such a position where. Look, right there. Look, see the bag? Doesn't it look like the post bag in Wind Waker? It does, doesn't it? Or is that just me? It does. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time in the Legend of Zelda Scarlet Sword. Bye bye. Running round the circles, running round the circles. If I could get my sword out right now, Stash. What's his name? G Gipor? G no, Gibor. Gipor? Gibor. Whatever his name is. And I'm not gonna say. I remember I was thinking I was watching the um, Attack and Two Cans and Josh Jefferson, and uh, Attack Two Cans is like. I just realised there's uh, I think Gapora Kapora he was talking about. There's Gain his name and just like, ugh. And I was just thinking, really, Tyler, really. Now sound like my mum, really, really, really. So sound like my mum. Um. <laughs> I just I'm just thinking of that one bit in between our episodes in Rayman. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, now we're actually gonna go and I'm not even gonna mention what I just said about attacking chickens because seriously seriously Tyler really 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 Tyler really uh, why do I sound like my mum? Uh anyway guys, I'll see you guys next time until the guys said bye bye. Can I open the window?